Hello and welcome to Message in a Moment. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the, the going in circles of life. I know that uh, many of us get so busy that we feel like we're just running in circles. Well, let me give you a quote. The merry-go-round of life stops when you get off. You can, you can live in a world of, of busyness and you can be a person who has a priority. See, we pursue our priority. Whatever our priority is, that's what we pursue. We're constantly going after what we really have as our agenda. In the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 33, Jesus said, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all the things that you need will be added to you. Now, what that means, that word seek first, it, it's prioritizing. It means the priority of your life. Let the priority of your life be seeking Him, and then all the things of the peripheral part of life will be added to you. The book of Joshua is an interesting book. Uh, Moses had been leading the children of Israel. And, and he led them to the edge of the promised land, and they, by unbelief, would not go in and possess it. And so it was time for Moses to die. And so he, Moses had been mentoring Joshua. And so God came to Joshua in the first chapter of the book of Joshua and said, Moses, my servant is dead. Now I'm going to be with you like I was with him. And then he goes on to teach several times, he says, but you be strong and of good courage. And in one place, I just particularly want to tell you verse 7, Joshua 1, 7. It says, be strong and courageous. And don't turn to the left or to the right, but press forward to be observing the things that Moses taught you. In other words, in a, how can I take that today for my life? God has set a priority from him to me to guide me into himself. Now, I, I can get caught up with the cares of this world, the merry-go-round of this life, and I can totally miss the, the great plans that God has for me. Or I can say to him, I'm going to pursue you with all my heart and all my soul and all my strength. What he told Joshua was, don't turn to the left, don't turn to the right, but observe and hearken to the voice of the Lord, and you will be prosperous in whatever you do. And whatever he did was to lead the children of Israel into the possession of the promises of God. Well, I want to encourage you today, get off the merry-go-round of the busyness of life and begin to pursue God with all your heart. Until we meet again, God bless you is my prayer.